Hey there, this is a little tutorial for the stitch generator. So when you open the file, this is what you see. You have uh, all these five different stitches that you can use. If you want to import them into your file, you can just make it into an asset, mark as asset, and then it will show up into your library. If you go to library, then here, use the library. I have these different assets that I can drag in, but uh, you can make your own asset library any way you want. So if we go into the stitches, you can also just append. If you go to append into a new file and click append, you can take this stitch curve uh, and it will import with all the things that you need. So all the materials and also even the sphere that's projected on. So how it works is that you can go into edit mode. I do it by pressing tab, but you can also do it here. Now in object mode, when I go into edit mode, I can draw. So here is a draw tool that you can use to draw on your object. And also make sure that here the object is selected. So it selects the little leather ball. Uh, and that makes sure that if you draw on the ball, then the spline is not exactly on the ball. And with geometry nodes, I project all the points exactly on the ball. So you don't get any clipping of the stitches. So within all the parameters, you have the options to change the stitches. You can also, uh, if you want to use polygons and not Bezier and you can change to mesh or you can for example select an edge loop copy it and then use that edge loop as a mesh to generate these stitches then also make sure that you select the ball uh, if you select the stitches and change the par parameters you can see that you can change and if we give it a little bit more space you see that this is one this is number two the crosses number three the lines you have like a zigzag and you have a v stitch you can also adjust all these stitches so if you want as i just did make more of them you can also change the radius so it becomes a thicker thread you can change the stitch length if you want you can do stitch rotation if I put this on 45, you see that they rotate and also start to intersect. You can uh, also make them a bit higher. That's the stitch curve. You have the stitch width. Oh, the stitch width is only for the, the double stitch. So if I increase the distance and then the, the stitch width, you see that they are displaced. Um, we can also change the randomness if they want to make them a bit more messy. So if I put 90 here, then they are allowed to rotate by 90 degrees. Uh, you can have a randomness seed if you want to change the randomness. So for example, randomness 45, but I want a little bit different every time I can use the seed. Uh, we have a stitch displace. If you want to displace a little bit away from the model, uh, you can also toggle the seam or the holes and the seam if you want to turn them off and draw them yourself. You have the whole size if you want bigger holes. We have the stitch roughness if you want to make the thread a little bit more rough. But you have to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, we also have the seam width which is the seam projection that is uh, a material that is mapped onto a surface. And you have also the uh, seam, the seam width and the creases that can be toggled. So you get a little bit of uh, leather creasing or textile creasing and also the crease size that you can scale up a little bit. 
increase the realism of how the stitches look on your model. You also have to make sure that you fill in uh, all these UVs, the UV names. If we go into object, for example, here we see the crease. Uh, for example, we can also take the seam. It's maybe a little bit more clear. You see seam UV, and here is the seam UV. If we remove it here, you see that the seam disappears because now it cannot, the material cannot find uh, the model in the geometry nodes. So if I type seam UV, then it reappears. Also, when you um, sometimes copy this model or you append it, then uh, sometimes these names are not here. So you have to fill them in again. So just copy what is here. So UV, whole UV, seam UV, and crease UV. And then everything should work. So I hope you enjoy the tool and that it's very useful for you.